Le Ronde is a theme park situated in Montreal, Canada, and with it having a collection of over 40 rides and attractions, there is no wonder it is loved by so many. However, today we're going to count down the top 10 rides at Six Flags Le Ronde. Starting off at number 10, we have Toboggan Norweek. And no matter whether you want to get thrown around in every direction imaginable or are just looking for another fun family wild mouse, then this is the ride for you. Theme towards, believe it or not, the famous toboggan racing, you will begin your ride by jumping in one of many creatively designed cars. And then this is closely followed by a series of your classic wild mouse turns, drops, airtime hills and those much beloved brake runs, creating an experience which you, nor your body, will ever forget, and one which is totally worthy of the list. You can't have a theme park without a gyro swing, and Le Ronde is no exception, as taking our number 9 spot we have managed to. Nevertheless, before we do begin to talk about the ride itself, due to it being a very common type of flat ride, if you are heading to the park on a busy day, then we would recommend riding the more unique attractions first. Yet, if you do get a chance to ride, you will definitely not be disappointed, with you and the rest of the thrill seekers on board being able to not only rise up and down, but also spin around too, as well as seeing each other's faces whilst you face inwards. And trust me when I say, it can be pretty funny to see their faces. It is time for our first upside down ride on the list, as for our number 8 spot we have fur to go. And if you guess by the name that this is not for the faint of heart, well then you would be spot on as once you have boarded your car and for the best experience try to see outwards, you will begin to rock up and down just like your typical pirate ship. However, where this ride gets really cool is that you will constantly do this until you are literally heading upside down, providing an awful lot of hang time and an experience which will keep your heart racing till the end of the day. Have you ever wanted to soar through the air like a condor? Well if so then you must take a ride on our number 7 spot, Condor, as despite being your typical funfair style ride, you can do just that, with in a nutshell your bird being able to tilt from side to side, whilst also being spun from one of the four discs at the same time that they are also being spun and risen up and down. So yeah, this ride is plain down mental, but also with its amazing views across the park, there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that this is a must-do attraction on every single visit to the park. For our number 6 spot on our top 10 list, things are starting to become a lot more intense, as we have Endor, the park's Vekoma SLC. And for anyone who has not seen or done one of these rides before, well then you are very, very lucky, as these are plain down painful. Nevertheless, the reason why I've put this ride on the list is the fact that if you manage to keep your head in the correct position, Nothing beats the five inversions and many twists and turns that you will complete over water. Therefore, when also taking into account that due to it being an invert, your legs will be dangling the entire time, I would feel wrong not to put this attraction on the list. Top 5 were, were and coming in for this spot, we have Titan. The ride which has taken your classic gyro swing to the next level. And here is how. Now unlike your typical gyro swing 
where you may rock back and forth whilst also spinning around. Once you and up to the 39 others have boarded the disc, not only will you do this, but you will also rise to a height of 45 metres and a top speed of 112 kilometres an hour. How awesome, but also rather petrifying is that. The question is though, do you think you have what it takes to ride, or would you prefer to watch it from ground level? If you are scared of heights, then skip to number 3. As for our number 4 spot, we have Orbit, and with it standing at a height of almost 60 metres, this is definitely not for the faint of heart. However, nor is it your normal drop tower either, as of course you will have the much beloved dreaded views and drops, but in my opinion what makes this ride so great is the fact that you also shoot up to the top in a matter of only 2 seconds before a series of bounces causing even the biggest thrill seekers in the group to hold on tight. Here we are at the top 3 rides at the park and for this position we have got the one and the only vampire and wow is this ride amazing or what? Created by being M as believe it or not another Batman clone even though these rides are extremely common around the Six Flags chain just looking at it is incredible with its purple and yellow track full of many awesome elements and this only continues on the ride itself with you completing and get ready for it a 105 foot drop, 2 loops, 0 G roll, 2 wing overs and of course many twists and turns all whilst your legs are dangling. Isn't that fantastic? Da ding ding. Between number 2 and 1, it was tough, however after a lot, and I mean a lot of consideration, we have decided to put Monstra at the number 2 spot, as ever since its debut all the way back in 1985, it has always been a fan favourite, for one reason in particular though, that it duels. Yes, you heard me right. On this wooden roller coaster, you duel, meaning that at the same time that you are dropping at 130 feet, racing around many bank turns and shooting over all of those airtime hills, you will also be racing another car to see who becomes the champion. But one thing I do know for sure though, is that a trip to La Ronde would be nowhere near complete without a ride. We have made it to the number one spot and in our opinion for the best ride at the park we have got no other than Goliath and where do I begin when talking about this ride as if I was going to talk about every great park we would literally be here all day but to start from the beginning as soon as you walk into the park and see this beast of a coaster in the lake, you will instantly want to take a ride, and you should definitely do just that, as on ride it just get 10 times better, with after the ascend to the top, you will head down a 170 foot drop, followed by not 1, not 2, not 3, but 9 40 foot plus airtime hills making it not only the best ride at La Ronde, but one of the best in the entire world. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.